Hi, good day. Welcome to the show, the inaugural episode of whereby we interview members of the PSP. And today, my guest on the show uh, needs no introduction. He is none other than Dr. Tan Cheng Bok. Thank He's you. He's the Secretary General of the Progress Singapore Party. Welcome to the show, Doc. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking time off the busy schedule uh, to be it's here a, with us today. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah, welcome to our studio. Okay, so uh, Doc, uh, just to uh, find out a little bit more about you, you know, because uh, yeah. we are trying to show through this interview a uh, personal side of you that many people may not be aware of. Okay. So uh, we are trying to share, and also uh, Dr. Tan has prepared some photos uh, from his uh, days when he was a child. Uh, we were trying to look for his baby photos, but I say it's a bit too long. He don't have the baby uh, photos anymore. We'll get down to the uh, interview proper, but Doc, where were you born in Singapore? I'm just curious. Uh, where, uh, like in KK Hospital? Or? No, no, I was born in Chinatown, Krita Ayer Road. Oh, born in Chinatown. Yeah. So the, the, what, what do, you, do they call those maternity ladies that I, come and do Yeah, I, I, I guess it was a home delivery, you know. Home because delivery. during our time, I yeah. am sure many of the deliveries were done at home mm-hmm. by midwives. Uh, I mean, midwives, right? Yeah, by midwives, midwives yeah. right, right, right. So, so I, I was living in Chinatown for for a brief period. Oh. Yeah. Before I before we moved to Kampung Baru. Kampung Baru. Uh, Kampung Baru. Is it still a Kampung house? Yeah, no, no. Kampung Baru. It's in, it's a it's a road actually. Uh-huh. Uh In the Singapore Harbour Board. I don't know whether you know all these terms or not. Uh-huh. Because in the good old days, uh, all these were, uh, places like now we call Gate Five. A bit, yeah, yeah, a bit it, my yeah. Time. I think it's, we all we all will not know if I use those terminology. Yeah. But unfortunately, the roads were all renamed. So now I'm not sure what is that, that, that particular place where I used to stay and where we, they house many of the Singapore Harbour Board workers. Oh. My father works in the Singapore Harbour Board. Now it's called the PSA. Hey. Oh, yeah. Also it's considered a civil servant. Yeah. Not exactly. exactly la, not exactly, but yes, yeah, they are like quasi I know ah, how to call see. it. Mm. Okay. So as a kid at that time, what did you do for, for fun? You all catch spiders no, also? We play or? marbles, <laughs> we catch spiders, we swim in the seas around there. Ah. We climb up Mount Faber, run up and down the hills. Oh, so you know the area well? Yeah, ah. sure, of course. <laughs> And I was I was uh, studying Radin Mas Primary ah, School. Ah, okay, talking about yeah. Radin Mas, right? I think we got a picture of you. Is yeah, that, yeah, that picture that is picture, when I was uh, I think in Primary Three, Primary in Radin three. Mas, and that teacher is called Mr. S. Ranagopal. Oh, you still uh, yeah. remember your teacher? I think huh? he's the best teacher I've ever had. Oh. Uh, because uh, when he came and taught us in Radin Mas, we were all like uh, kampong boys. And he nurtured us, he taught us many things. And I think he taught us a lot of values. Ah. And some of the values I carry it with me until when I grew up day, until this yeah, very yeah. day. So the I think values of compassion, you know, caring for people right. and uh, sharing. Oh, that was very, very good. It's an all boys school. Uh? It's an all boys school. Uh-huh. And the school ready mass is uh, at the foothills of Mount Faber. Oh, I see, mm. I see, I see. Mm. So the school is still around? Uh? That old location building has been la. demolished. Oh, they have moved yeah. location. Correct, uh, yes. They moved la. away. Okay, okay. Wow. So mm. it just goes to show uh, that a teacher can really impact the students. Oh, uh. yeah. He was so... We, we were really uh, taken by the way he treated us. And in particular, all the very poor students in my class, uh. he, he, he paid particular attention. And I he see. makes sure that these boys who have, they have no money to buy books. Mm. We all share. Oh. We share books, we share comics. We love comics. <laughs> so it was fun reading comics. We don't have a chance to go and buy books to right, read. Right, right, right. But he, he will actually like, he will pair us up with some of the weaker students in my class. For so, me, yeah, I'm a, a better student. So mm. he paired me with a very poor student. Mm. And uh, weak academically yeah, well. academically weak. Not because he he has he, he can't study, but I think he had no opportunity. Oh. So I remember one day he brought me, you know, this mm-hmm. teacher and a few of our boys. Mm. Now during those days, we, we our parents let us move all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they don't they don't know yeah. where we are going to. But he brought us to understand this little this boy. I mean to his home? No, no. We went. He he brought us in his in his car in the uh-huh. night, you know. Uh-huh. And then just to witness how this boy managed his life. And then the boy was actually helping the father to to sell this colony. 
Oh, so the TikTok, a TikTok, uh, TikTok, uh, TikTok uh, he's a hawker, so you know. we watch how he will, uh, you know, follow the father, the father pushing the cart, cart uh. and then he will be following behind. When there's an order, mm. he will go, he will run nice. to that particular place oh. and somebody will lower down the basket <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. and then he, the basket will tell us what he wants. How much was one boat in those days? I think a couple of cents, uh, we don't I know. Sense, I, sense, know. Sense, I think, I, I think yes, I guess so. About there. Uh. But it gives me an insight into what was it like to be poor. Mm. And this boy was really so skinny and uh, like malnourished. Malnourished. So we all helped him. And uh, well, he, we all grew up together and we oh. all went to good schools after that. Are you still in contact or lost No, no, I, he passed away. I'm so oh, sad. He passed yeah, away. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't forget, I'm 80 years old now. You know. Ah, he's still young. Yeah, ah, okay. okay, let's look at another uh, picture that you have prepared for us. And I believe this one is... This is when I was a cup. You know, in the good old days, we have these cups. Cup, we scalp, cup, is cup, and cup is one, is the younger version of the scalp. The scalp. Ah, yeah. So this was primary So this primary was in school. primary school. Oh. We have the cup mistress mm. and uh, we all enjoyed cupping there. Mm. In particular uh, of the, the terrain we were staying in. Oh. We were, we were, we were, the, the school was. Because this ready mass is actually situated at the foothills of, uh, of Mount Faber. Right. So we can run up and down the, 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 so in the secondary hills. school, did you continue to be a yeah. scout as well? Yeah. Fun What's the scout's motto? Uh, be prepared. Be pre yeah. <laughs> Alright, maybe yeah. be prepared. <laughs> so I remembered after that, I, when I went to Raffles after Meridian Mass, hmm. I continued to be a scout. Ah. And I ultimately actually became the first student scout master. Wow. Which was a really unique thing for a student to be appointed as a scout, assistant scout master. So what are your responsibilities? Oh, I have to take care of, the, of, my, of my own classmates, imagine, and, and some of my own, uh, the juniors uh, who, who, who joined in us RI, eh? in RI. Uh -huh. And I remember John Young, that was the principal of RI. Mm. He had to seek special permission from the Scout Association to appoint me as a junior assistant scout master. master. Oh. Mm. Wow. That, that, that came about because the, the scouts then were very upset with our own scout master because as <laughs> revolt, scouts, a, 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 yeah, <laughs> actually as, scout mas, as a scout master, he is supposed to bring us scout, camping, hiking, oh. and, uh, but he didn't want to go. Oh, lazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, not lazy. I think he's a bit soft. Oh. So all the scouts, uh, the scouts then, they were, looking for yeah, leadership, yeah, they were so angry. Oh. Every time he, he, he wanted to go, Do and he yeah, he won't, he, he, he won't want. So oh. that's why they all petitioned uh, him to be removed oh. by the students. Can you imagine I see, I those see. days? And also you and and, and, and yeah, uh? and and the principal <laughs> then asked them, who do you want to be your scout master? So they pointed out to me. <laughs> so I was, oh my goodness, these chaps want me to lead. So I, I let. Yeah, yeah. So it was quite quite good. Good experience. Mm, good huh? experience. Ah, okay, mm. excellent. So uh, then from there you you continue. Are you are you a scout for life kind of thing like when you join? No, the after scout? my scouts, I became a rover. Oh, that's even ah. higher like, one You see, they have, you got scouts, then you got junior scouts, mm. then you got senior scouts, mm. then I a rover. Mm. And that's a, that that time was the highest. I don't know what after that. I don't know whether oh. there had any change I change your name or not. Oh, okay. Mm. So you even became a rover as well, like? Yeah. So were you like the top guy in that thing or No, I, I'm, the, I'm a very practical chap. I find that those scouts with the many, many badges are not actually the, the, the really gun ho scouts like us because we will climb the hills, we will jump into the sea, we will, we will roll around Singapore Island and all, and all that, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay, let's look at the next photo you have prepared for us, Ah, this, oh, uh, this, this, this is when I was at Raffles. And where was this location of Raffles? That is, this is in Bras Pasar Road. Oh, this, Bras this, Pasar Road. Is, this is the original Raffles. Ah. Uh, so where, where were you in the picture? Adok? I'm right at the back. And the, the skinny, lanky, tall guy Yeah, is, that's, uh, that's Chok Tong. He's, oh, uh, we so were all were together. Oh, so you were classmates? Huh? Yeah, we were all classmates in our oh, right. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I can see uh, he's quite tall and lanky. Yeah, he's even tall in and... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And he's also a scout, that's why we all got to know each other well. Oh, I see, I and see. And I remember I had to help him to get his first class badge. Class batch. First class batch. Oh, what was uh, the significance no, of that? No, to get a first class batch, you need to do uh, do a, a special hiking trail mm. where you have to actually, you got to go through some of the, uh, our, our secondary forest. Oh, 
to 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 qualify oh. passing through this type of hard terrain oh. and then make sure you reach the place where you're scheduled assigned to, uh, to, assigned to, to, to go to oh. so he he i remember he he called me to help him ah. after he failed his first one oh. <laughs> but, but he's, he's, not, very, he's not as rugged as you <laughs> I, I think i'm more rugged than him yeah, <laughs> oh this was what uh, in secondary what uh, uh, this is in form three that means now sec Sec three la, right? Sec one sec. I think form there, three, yeah. Maybe lah, yeah, yeah, there yeah, la. yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. So from there, after that, you went on to JC or who was it? No, that time we don't oh, have JCs, no JCs. No uh, so I stayed. We were all there throughout the uh, six years in Raffles. Oh, four six years, years in uh? four years in secondary. Uh -huh. Two years in what they call pre-university. Oh, pre-university. Okay. And from the pre-university, then we then we go to the university. Ah, mm. ah, ah. So most of your classmates still around? I mean, or some oh, have sad. Some I think some? maybe half of them have left this. Oh, oh, left I see, already. I see, I see. But they were all very brilliant. They were all bright boys, and uh, it was quite, quite an, quite uh, an experience to study in that school. Mm. That because it's very challenging, and the teachers really so press us. Until today, yeah. Raffles is still the ultimate. In a way, right? Like I think yeah. I think it's one of the, one of the good schools. Uh, I think there are many other schools now quite as yeah. good as the Raffles now. Right, so right, it right. is... Uh, is so it from your, your cohort there, doc, who else became a doctor besides you? I think I would say there are about 30 of us became doctors. Oh really? Oh, so many of you became doctors? Because we were, no, in the pre-university, ah. we, were, we were all, or what do you call, we chose what we want to do. Mm. So we were in the science class, ah. in the medicine class or in the arts class. Okay. So we all went to the medicine, medicine. class, oh. a big group. But Chok Tong went to the arts. Oh. So, and that group, many of us became doctors. I see, I but see. But I think it is wrong. All the good students all go to do medicine. I think there's the spread of talent, I think, is lopsided. Oh, so, I think I was quite, quite, quite happy when one day Mr. Lee Kuan Yew said, we must spread the talent. Mm. So, now I, th I think not all the top boys will be allowed to do medicine. Right. Because to spread the talent or else it will be lopsided. All, all the smart guys want to do medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that I think that was a good policy. But of course now, because everybody there are so many who actually want to do medicine now and got rejected, they were oh. really down hard, downcasted, and they're very sad. I see. But I think that's some of the this is the policy. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, in Singapore, they always used to like plan uh, uh, five years, ten yeah, years ahead to yeah, see yeah. what's going to happen, mm. and then they'll sort of nudge the students to go yeah. into the. No, the some of, of some of them like recently, I got one chap, one one chap came to see me, all straight A's, but mm. not or not cannot take medicine, cannot do medicine. Oh. Because she they they think that she should be posted to some other courses. I see. So I she see. was really very disappointed. So either you study locally, not then. Yeah. But our own? time, our time, practically most of the better students opt to do medicine because we were all, we that seems to be the the profession of the day. Mm. Our parents all want you to be doctors. Everybody, so either you're a doctor, you're an engineer, you're a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not much. Still today, it's still yeah. the same. But most parents want their children in the. No, but nowadays our children are better in the sense that they have options. Yeah. You see, and our polytechnics offer a lot of courses, a lot of options for students, Correct. which I think it is uh, important because or else the talent will be one-sided. So, Doc, this was a picture of you doing what? National service? Yeah, that's, that's me in my army uniform. Wow, cool, man. And I must say that I'm only a recruit, although I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so you already became a doctor, then you go and yeah. do Yeah, you see, after my medical course and all uh. my, what you call my housemanship, mm. I one day received a letter from the from Mindef uh. that I'd be called up to do national service. Where did you do your medicine? In Singapore? In Singapore. Overseas? In Singapore. In Singapore, yeah. okay. But that was a shock to me because I know that I was uh, much we are so over age really. <laughs> By the time we graduate and all uh. the all the all the housemanship that we have to go through, yeah. I think we must be about twenty seven. 27 years wow, old or 28 like yeah. 18, 19 to do NS. So we are, yeah, we are 18. So we imagine we have that gap, that oh. gap, you know. I think that call up was wrong. Hmm. And uh, at the end of the day, I, we really uh, had a lot of uh, clash actually, you know, with hmm. the authorities on this. Because oh. we thought we were wrongly called up. Hmm. Because uh, of, whole, um, of my class, I think about of the Singaporeans who, who in that cohort of medical. Maybe 50-odd 
the only 12 of us will call up. Oh, not, not the entire yeah. one, only the 12 So we are wondering why they call us up. Of course, they gave us this story that we are all better. We were all either trade union students, oh. in a student's union, and we were all very active people. That's right. why they call us up. But that was wrong because national service have to involve all. But mm, only mm. 12 of us doing that, something oh. is wrong. Maybe especially selected, like you, because of your scouts background. Every so actually, I remember when I was in NS that time, mm. I wrote a paper for them how to, how to, uh, how to move, about, move our doctors mm. from serving in the hospitals to the army, mm. because both sides need doctors. Yes, yes. Right? But there must be a scheme developed so that there's this flow. Mm. So there's no 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 disruption of medical so services. How long did you do your NS? I mean, so I was there, and uh, when we were were actually <laughs> suggesting of a good way uh -huh. to, to 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 overcome this problem of the doctors, the need of the doctors in the in the hospitals and mm. also in the army, there was a lot of letters exchanged, and we found that I think they realized it was a mistake. Oh. So they gave me an option to leave national service, okay. which is again wrong, because in national service you can't give options. Yeah, yeah. The only per the person who can excuse me from being a national serviceman is the president. I think it was a headache for the for Mindef, and then finally I received a letter one day to ask me I have, uh, to give me this option to leave national service. Actually, actually, I think in the first place it was wrong to call us up. It was a wrong <laughs> move. But having said that, okay, we... You all still went through it? Uh? I, I left. Oh. But the, 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 the sad part of it was, they were so... That's where I felt very sad that, that there was something not very proper. Mm. Because when they, when they asked me to leave, they actually, they gave me a letter telling me that I should go back to the army. Mm. I should go to the army, you know? Uh, and that if I don't, unlikely I'll get employment anywhere huh? in the Ministry of Health. Mm. But I was on bond. I have to serve the government for seven years. Because of oh, you were a scholarship for your doctor? No, we were all, all, all the, there were many, many, many scholars there also. Mm -hmm. I was a bursary holder and mm -hmm. I was a full bursary holder, so I had to serve seven years. Oh. I was prepared, so I wrote to the Ministry of, and, uh, of health. health and they rejected me. <laughs> because you, they say you didn't do it. Yeah, he said how? Now he said no. He said now the uh, you have to go back to the Ministry of Defence to oh, apply. So it's a conundrum for you. Or so I'm in a, in a, so that's where I became. I have no choice. Oh, you went to the private. So practice. all of us became a, a GP by oh. by default. I hmm. see. I see. I see. I so see. that's how. So but but, but how long was your initial Only service? three months. Like BMT, like didn't yeah. you just did BMT? So my rank now, <laughs> I'm a recruit. Recruit. <laughs> So, I don't know how, but I think it was a very good experience in NS. You enjoyed it? Lah. Enjoy I really enjoyed it. We did all, all the exercises, mm. all the uh, topography, everything very well. Yeah. And I think they were quite impressed that in spite of the fact that we are about 20 years, years old, old, we could run with the 18 years old. old. <laughs> because we were, our spirit was strong. Our spirit was, we as doctors, yeah. we have to pick up those injured uh, treat yes, them yes, and yes. move. Yeah, like medics yeah. in the field and all these things. And, and yeah. at that time, we were trained by the Israelis. Oh. And their philosophy was really good. Take care of your men. Uh, no when they are down, no. leave no one behind. Right. Oh, so okay, that's where okay. we learned that. So any of our men that's down, we pick them up. So, Doc, let's look at the next picture uh, that you have, which is, aha, uh -huh, this one is the one with your yeah, army yeah. gang. Uh. Yeah, these are all, my, all the, the 12 dirty dozen, they call the us. Dirty dozen. They call us the dirty dozen. <laughs> But sad to say that of these 12, about six of them left Singapore. We lost six, six of them. Left Singapore is in migrated? They migrated. Oh. They gave up their citizenship. Oh. Uh, because they were very upset, they were wrong. Oh, they lost the yeah. MOH not say you cannot employ uh, you all some of them, you So some of them were so upset, they left. Oh, and, uh, okay. and, and they were all very bright doctors. They were really, they were top students. But it's true, no yeah. fault of yours, right? Yeah. So, but I mean, that is part of the system now. Nah. So oh. what happened is that they left. Oh. I was trying to persuade them, I say, if something is wrong, I said, mm. we it, must stand firm yeah. and correct it and mm. not run away. Mm. That was my philosophy. But oh. they said that dog, they cannot take it. So they, they left. Oh. And then some of them went to Australia, some went to 
Canada, US, mm. and they became top doctors, top in, doctors in their country. The country. They, they so migrated. Singapore's there. loss is other yes. countries gain. Uh. Yeah, this oh. is a really sad thing. Policies are yeah. sometimes uh, the wrong Of course, uh, they were scolding me when I went to join the PAP later on. They said, <laughs> how can? I said, no, you, if something is wrong, you got to write it. Yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah. run away from it. Correct. So we had a little bit of a period where we were actually a little bit unhappy with each other. Mm. But later on, when they all became, when they graduated, mm. and when they became top surgeons mm. and top heads of department in mm. their respective field. Like, no. in, in the, because some of the eye surgeon, yeah, ENT uh, surgeon, yes. you know, they were quite happy. When we all made up. We yeah, had a reunion yeah. one day. And we met we, and we laughed over all this, <laughs> those things. But, we, but they made good. You see. Oh, I'm sure. But, I mean, but, um, but they are not angry now. I mm. think, be, and I'm quite happy because some of the children came back. Came back, you know, and, as in, came back to Singapore to work. Oh, but not Singapore citizens already like, because of oh, the No, taken some of them didn't give up their citizenship. Oh. The children, some, some, some of them didn't give up their citizenship. Oh, so okay, okay. some gave up. La, but, gave I, up. I, but I think that's part of the. There will be yes, always some. Huh? We will win some, we will lose, lose some. some yeah. yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Okay, okay. Leslie, what is the next uh, picture you have prepared for us, uh, Doc? Oh, ah, this, my, this. This is your this wedding Cecilia. photo. That's Cecilia my, is your wife, yeah, right? Yeah, you agree she's beautiful? Yeah, oh, she's, yeah <laughs> she's beautiful. She's still very yeah. beautiful. Huh? I've yeah. met her and she's a very nice lady. No, I think, I think without her, I wouldn't be where I am today, you know? Because well, she has been supporting me all the way. The day when I was uh, when I left national service, I had no job. <laughs> she was the one looking after me. But you're a doctor, really, leh? Yeah, but nobody there to oh, employ me. You already me. married, or what? Married, ready. Oh. And then after we left, and after national service, Ministry of uh, Health don't want to employ me. Oh. Because they asked me to go back to Ministry of uh, Defense, Defense and I refused. Oh. So when I came out, they said, "Don't know what's wrong with this fella. What if, why this fella must be?" Must be better don't employ him. Also, oh, oh, so you were married. So for a then period, you were to do NS, uh, but, uh, after so a period, I had I was uh, no job lah. Uh, uh, not 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 because there seems to be like a fear to that I've done something very wrong. Uh, but uh, but later a doctor took me in and I worked for him for a short period. Mm -hmm. But anyway, she was the one who looked after me. So, oh, so, so she was like the in the like what we call the breadwinner for a while. Yeah, she kept. She, oh. she, Same I'm like what? Uh, you know, la. like Mr. Lee Kuan Yew also. Yeah, la, was I'm a cat man. <laughs> 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 you don't know you put it cat man. No, same but but Mr. she Lee was, yeah she Mrs. Lee was the one that was looking after correct. the and then running the law yep. practice and making more yep. money yep. Yeah. and then yeah. politician <laughs> both hand <laughs> one. But but we went through that period, it was a bit rough, a bit uh. tough and so on. But fortunately la, oh, okay, we okay. were we, we managed to go through and uh, I went to work for a doctor. Mm. His do this doctor goes by the name of Dr. Shen Nan Chin. Shen Nan Chin, okay. Where you was see, the clinic? Shen Nan Chin has a clinic in Somapa Road. So, Somapa uh, Road. Yeah, yeah. I heard of that road, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, at, when I joined him, he was uh, he belonged to the Berisan Socialist. Oh, Li Siu Cho. Ah, Li Siu Cho group. Okay. So when I joined him, of course, people were saying, hey, this fellow is must be, this doctor uh, must be uh, something wrong to join them. Uh. But I say, what's oh, wrong? I think they have their own philosophy, their mm. own way of doing things. So I joined him for one month. Only oh, one month? As, short, a, as, a, as a locum. A locum, okay. Yeah. Then after that, I started, uh, I was looking for a place to work. and was offered a very good job by uh, late after that, uh, after that posting, mm. by a very, very established doctor. Uh. And uh, he, he grew to like me and he said that, yeah, you come and join me. I went to his office, it was so posh. And I, I think, I said, I cannot come and work in this sort of environment. <laughs> I said, if I'm trained as a doctor, I want to maximize my training as a doctor. Uh. I want to work in a place where I, am, I feel I'm, a, I'm of value. Uh. So if I go to the, where I join, if I were to join this doctor, I mean, he's, he said I'll be very rich. But that didn't entice me because my, my thinking then was, I want to serve. Uh, and if I, uh, what best way to serve 
is not in a posh place where yeah, the where the, the patient just come just are. come. So I, I I did not take his offer. Oh. So I went to look for Ama King Clinic. Yeah, it was just Amar about King. to come. Um, uh, most uh, of those people who know you that you had uh, your clinic at Ama King. Yeah. And I know about Ama King as well because my sister used to work for Dr. Caroline Wong. Oh, I see. She was the very early person. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. In, in Ama King yes, Clinic as well. So yeah, I yeah. think you should know her, right? Yeah, I, mean, I know her. She's yeah, a very yeah. nice lady. Yeah. Her husband yeah. is uh, Dr. Ching, yeah, was yeah. a Correct, well, yeah. ONG yeah, uh, ONG, doctor. that's right. Yeah, so very nice know, doctor too. So yeah. that's it. It resonates for me to say oh, Ama King. So why did you choose Ama King? It's like in, in the... Ulu's. Ulu, Ulu <laughs> one, you know. Like, you know, uh, at the end of... Uh, uh, Serimbun down In there. In fact, I, I, have, I should have a photograph to show you, but I was. Oh, yeah, okay. I have a very much. nice photograph. It's a farming farming area. People there are, are quite poor. Mm. And uh, and uh, the roads were all laterite roads. Mm. One big main road only. Yeah. So you. But when you go there and you look at my clinic, you would have. Like some of my friends went there and said, hey, you crazy man. <laughs> Why? Why you work here? Look at your clinic. Your clinic is so shabby and oh. so it's uh, not, it's, not, uh, it's plank, plank, uh, 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 plank, mud floor, at that house, zinc roof. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. But I spend my best life there. So when you practice medicine in that sort of environment, you find it's very fulfilling. Yes, yes. You're no yes. longer not, you're not only a doctor. You become more like a social worker. <laughs> and you also have to look at the at medicine from from a very different perspective or so. Mm. Because you are you are we are so fortunate we have the education, mm -hmm. these people don't have. Right. So you have the advantage, you can advise them. And uh, so when you practice medicine there it's not just seeing patients. Mm. It's looking at the whole environment and try to improve the environment. Right, right. Uh, because you know that the environment is a place if it's untidy, you're going to get diseases. Mm -hmm. So infectious disease at the, and during my time was very prevalent. So, so that's why when this COVID-19, all these infectious disease, mm. of course, it, 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 all these things click in my head, yeah. what we do. Mm. So, so I remembered when I was there, I, I see many, many cases of children, what we call having kidney disease. Kidney disease, yeah. wow. So I was a little bit unhappy as how can. So when I, when I, I started to re-examine that situation, mm -hmm. why so many kidney diseases? So what was that? I realized that... Uh, the water they drank? No, they all have a lot of sores, leg sores, you know, ah, ah, sepsis. Because, because uh, yeah, mosquito bites and, and the all water that. not very tight, mud ah. tracks and all that, uh -huh. very clean, not hygienic. So all the children come, they are shabbily dressed, you know, mm, mm, mm. and they have a, they are not clean and the yeah, legs always for infection. infections yeah. and wounds and things like that, yeah. So what do I do? I say, I must have managed this. Right. Because I was worried that one day, we will have the first kidney transplant there. That was my thinking. <laughs> okay. And true enough, it happened. You know? It happened, oh. So as a doctor, what do we do? This is called social medicine and public health. Ah. So you, you are trained as a doctor to treat. But the environment you must also manage mm. because they're all linked. Uh, yeah, just like, yeah, they're all interlinked. Yeah. So when I saw that, I talked to the principal of the schools. Mm. I said, look, your teachers and I, we must cooperate. We must bring down this, this kidney illness or we're going to have many children growing up with kidney problems. problems uh, and maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe they have to have a kidney transplant and so on. Yeah. And it's very simple. I said, during your assembly, what do you do? You look at all the children, all of those with sores, mm. bring them to my clinic. You see, I mean, we don't worry about charging because it's a service. Mm. Then they either they can also bring to the polyclinics. Mm -hmm. Then we clean up, teach them hygiene, mm. basic hygiene. I told the teachers, these are so fundamental, so basic. Mm. So we clean up. And then I tell you, I could see the, the dramatic drop in the number of cases ah. of these kidney problems. Right, so it right. was, it was very fulfilling. So you involve the community yes, as you well. Must. Yeah, you must. Uh, yes, yeah. and I also seek the help of my old professors, and my old professors were also excited. Wow! So doc, you really personify the work. So of I said, look, I said, prof, you, you, you I think this, this, this problem, uh, uh. Then he told me, yeah, you're right, because the source are the are the problem of this, 
of, of this uh, 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 causing this kidney mm -hmm. problem. No, it's strange that yeah, no, because of the of, of the of the of the bacteria. The bacteria, they go to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we all thought by the British doctors mm. were sore throat. Yes, yes. But then different and different environment. Correct. So unless you have that experience, then mm. the professors taught me. My old teacher, mm. Professor Wang Hongbun, the best uh, uh, teacher, and he thought he, he he was the one who, if I have problem in the in the clinic, uh. in the in the in the rural area, I can call him. You know, you can oh. imagine now, <laughs> and he doesn't charge this consultation fees for all the all the poor chaps. Oh, okay, okay. So, as a because my grandfather, hmm. he used to grow. I mean, it was in Kranji, in a village in Kranji, which is not that far away from where you are. Uh, and he was like the headman of the village, uh, and he used to be educated. My grand, my grandfather, so he could write letters in hmm. English, all these things, right? And being the headman, uh, so sometimes for the work that he has done, he was rewarded because they don't know how to pay him in money. They bring live ducks, live chicken. Yeah. They the same. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I, I never, money never actually was my main concern. Yeah, because yeah. for me, my profession makes me so happy. Mm. So, uh, uh, managing and treating patients was my first aim. So, even those who got no money, we just see them. Right. We, 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 I might feel upset if they don't come and see me mm. when I know. So, I remember one case, uh, very, very sad. This poor fella brought the son to see me. Mm. Small fella, so so sick, breathless, Ayo. hardly could breathe. So I kept him in my clinic for a while, treated him, and uh, managed to get him into quite good, st stable state. Mm. And the father brought me, his, gave me his wedding ring to pay me. Oh, wow. I said, no, 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 no. I said, that is so sentimental, yeah, sentimental between you. Yeah, yeah. No, don't worry about that. So, I, told, I insisted that he must come and see me all the time. Mm. And I, of course, we don't, don't talk about charges. Mm. So, and over years, 10, 20 years, 10 more years, I think more than 10 years. You treated this, his I son. treated him oh. and he grew up to be a, not that healthy, I mean, but not that sickly anymore. Correct. Then one day when I got resettled, when, I, when, my, when the whole village got resettled, all of us moved yeah. out. So I got resettled, so I went to Jurong East to practice. Mm. Then one day there was a knock on, my, on the clinic door. Uh. And there was this boy with a big uh, hamper. Uh. And as an MP, I, never don't re I don't receive hampers. I don't mm. take hampers. But this particular boy, when he came to see me, I was quite shocked, you know. I said, are you Chong? Yeah, I'm Chong. I say. But he grew up quite, quite good already. Well, uh, and he's going to study uh, overseas. Oh, okay. And uh, I first, the first time I accepted his hamper. Mm. Because as a gratitude. See. Right. And he went on to do his further studies. Oh, excellent, yeah. excellent. So I was quite happy. So you have impacted many lives. Uh, many, you know, no, I, I don't know whether it impact, but it's just, you know, it's, it's, a, calling, it's a way of life. It's, yeah. it's, it's your, your it's your, your values, yeah. Huh? And you enjoy doing it most important. Right. It, it, it's it's the way you 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 manage your own lifestyle. Right. But as I said, the rewards they give me rabutans, they give me durians, <laughs> they give what me chicken. Live chicken, The Live chicken. No, <laughs> live chicken. I you, you ask my wife, my wife very scared of live chicken well, because you don't have to cut, she doesn't slaughter, know the yeah. slaughter. <laughs> but I think the most interesting thing one day was they gave me a pig. Pig? Oh my goodness. <laughs> So but when a, they gave a me a big pig or a small pig? pig? I mean, they slaughtered the pig or already. Slaughtered the pig, like, oh, but it's okay. quite big, you know. So, oh. they, so I said, like I, roasted or raw? No, raw. Oh goodness! At that time, no need go to Abertua la. They all they in the village already yeah, yeah. slaughtered already. So I brought home. My wife nearly fell off a chair. Said, what? The, what is <laughs> what this? Are you do with what is pig? <laughs> so I said, Nema, I call all my old scouts. Ah, so all the barbecue. yeah. So we roasted the pig in the in my in my garden, uh, uh, uh. and you know we all are not experts. So everybody said must put honey, honey, honey uh. until the whole pig became so black. After uh, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, it, it yeah, yeah. The but at the end of the day, it was very good to eat. Tasty, mm. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that the gratitude right, that these right. people show you mm. is so it's quite you cannot uh. measure. Yeah, you can't measure. Yeah. Okay, lovely, lovely. Okay, doc, let's look at the next picture. Oh, this is a picture of you. Yeah, this is a picture of my very good friend, uh, Dr. Uh. Lee Kiao Xiong. I think he, he, myself, and Chok Tong, we were three close friends in RI. Oh. That's why he is. He's also a doctor. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's a doctor. He's, he's a surgeon. He's a surgeon. He's a very good surgeon. When he was uh, assisting a very top surgeon in uh, from Sydney, mm. for the, that hospital is called Prince Henry Hospital. I can still remember wow, yeah. Prince Henry good Hospital. Memory, yeah. And uh, when he saw him helping him mm. to do some of the cases in Singapore, he was so impressed by his surgical skills. Mm. He asked him to go and join him in Prince Henry Hospital oh. and want to teach him to be one of the Singapore's first, what do you call it, urologist. Oh, urologist. Uh, urology. So, of course, you, this, time, this time when a top surgeon from a, from a, from a prestigious university yeah. offer you this, you better don't, yeah. don't say no. Where is Prince Henry Hospital again? It's Sydney. Oh, Sydney, Australia. Sydney, yeah. oh, again, they are again our loss. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, so he didn't. He didn't come back, but, oh. but, but he is still very patriotic to Singapore. Mm. He will organize is uh, he events. Is he Singapore citizen? Singapore still. still, a Singapore still. Citizen. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He, he organized events for Singaporeans who are in Sydney. Mm. I remember one time also he was the head there. Mm. Yeah. So he has created very good relationships oh, also. Excellent, Singapore excellent. and Australia in Sydney. But he was your junior or? No, your classmate. Oh, classmate. Yeah. He's the head prefect. Yeah. Oh, head prefect. Head prefect. Ah. Oh, okay, okay. So we are all together, so I keep in touch with him. I see. Once I see. in a while, we go there and... Uh, Play golf? <coughs> Play golf, <laughs> that's right. That was a, that's a golf field. <laughs> that's but his children and my children were very close. Oh, okay. So, okay. in fact, his daughter now is, uh, is back in Singapore, married my daughter's husband's best friend. <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah. she's a very bright girl. Ah. So she's, she's back in Singapore, she's running her own, own, own set up. So, oh, okay. so it's very important whatever relationships uh, if Singaporeans nurture, leave yeah. us leave uh, us let us keep the door a little open. open yeah, yeah. Don't shut it. Yeah, Don't yeah, call yeah. them uh, uh, people disloyal. No. Yeah. They, they will find them. They have let them go. Correct, but correct. make that, 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 that leaving us in a very amicable way. So they will be our ambassadors there one yes, day. Yes, precisely. Uh, and they will help us to build that bridge between the country that they have, they have, uh, they have called their home mm. with us. Yeah. So this is, this is the thing that uh, we must continue to practice. Mm. This, this, this form of uh, engaging, engaging overseas our Singaporeans, Singaporeans who are uh, overseas here. Migrated or whatever, They'll come right? back. Yeah. So that was your classmate who has been in Australia and, yep. and fully agreeing with you yeah. that uh, we should keep the doors open uh, mm. so that, you know, like you say, your friend's daughter has come back to Singapore mm. and contributing mm. to Singapore. Let's see what's the next picture you have. Wow, what is this? This must be at your... Oh, this is a very interesting at picture. Your CC. You notice I have in that picture Dr. Wee uh, Kim Wee, our first yes, president. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he, when Wee we Kim Wee was a president, we were very close. Mm. Uh, and in fact, when he, when he stepped down as president, mm. I say that I, Raja, we took care of him. Oh. We, we still he take care of him. near your place? No, or? but we take care of him because he was very helpful when I was an MP there. And he helped me to actually, uh, uh, in opening some of my setups there. Oh, so it was like the, yeah. uh, the guest of honor. Yeah, like, eh? he's always, always very willing to help me. Oh, okay. But you see, there are a lot of people in wheelchairs there. Mm. That's because I made Ai Raja Community Centre a barrier-free community centre. Oh, they made accessible. By yeah, it people. should be, and, and, and it was accessible to the disabled people, to the uh, senior citizens. Mm. You must have that foresight. You must think ahead. So when I started to, re to build my community centre in Ai Raja, mm. I had this plan of building a centre for the young, for the old, mm. for the able, for the disabled able, right. also. So having that in my mind, we set about building that, want to build that centre. But unfortunately, at that period of the time, the requirements were quite strict. There are certain, again, policy, uh, again. Uh, again, you must do certain things according, uh, according to what to is what is already planned. Uh. So if you go out of the plan, it's a bit of a problem because you, 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 you smack against certain administration bureaucracy, bureaucracy that, that don't allow you to, 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 to challenge your yeah. way of they doing things. They just want things. you to follow. Yeah. Like. You must be a follower. But for us, we are always thinking ahead. Correct. So when I build a community centre, I wanted to build ramps, I wanted to build 
uh, all the barrier free. Uh. Then they say, hey, you must, this ramp should be so ugly, you know, we all block here, block there. I said, no. So you I didn't remember. understand what you were trying yeah, to do. Right? I said, barrier free doesn't mean you tear down the fences. Right. It's just that a person can come here and walk very easily around the whole centre. You were ahead of your time or in that sense, right? I, I, I think it's just, <laughs> it's just you think, uh, you think because that is the, that the community you got to run. Yeah. You got to take care of the community. Mm -hmm. So I built this community centre barrier free with ramps all hidden and they wonder I went there. When the PA fellas came and asked me, hey, where, where are your ramps? He said, my ramps are hidden. You can see. <laughs> I just to show to you uh, that thing out of the box, box yeah. you can get things done. Correct. So I insisted also that I should build a ramp to take the disabled and the seniors onto the stage without being carried onto the stage. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So yes. I had this special ramp that was built in front of the stage. Oh. Of course, uh, everybody, the, the first thing they say, Doc, you're eating into the space the of the space hall. Now. I said, I couldn't, I didn't, I, 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 what's, the, what's the problem? Yeah, just just a little enough. bit of space, yeah. but I look at how, how proud that the, the man uh, can wield his chair mm. without being lifted up, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. dignity is there. Yeah. He so doesn't feel like he's a he doesn't to feel, yeah, yeah, don't feel that he's so useless. Yeah, yeah, so when I had this ramp all up, at first oh. they all complain, right? <laughs> After they that, wow, good that. idea. They they a good, good idea. Thing, no? <laughs> and then the disabled started to come to my community center because oh. it's free. They, they run, yeah. Look, huh? all of them, even the basketball court. Oh. They, 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 I let them. They can just they use it, and they're so happy. Mm. So this, I became the patron. <laughs> so the uh, handicap, handicap welfare association. association. Ah. Oh, okay, okay. And also, I also allowed the visually handicapped, visually handicapped to yeah. come, and I told them you must, you must maximize this. In fact, when I gave him that place, I again smacked against into the PA rule. Oh. Hey, how can you give these people free? I said, never mind. We'll find the funds. They don't worry. But if we want to promote, you want to give them dignity and pride. Oh you know, being to work on their own. Let's support them. Mm. Don't put obstacles. Don't always find reasons why you cannot. Yeah, you must find reasons why you can help them. Correct, correct. They want to be ah. expedient, you see? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. So like, I remember not. Ron Chandran, uh, where was the, there's what, uh, where was this disabled, this visually this hand, handicapped person, Ron Chandran. Huh. I told him, Ron Chandran, I give you this place. But you must come up with, with a vision mm. of how to promote these people who are visually handicapped oh. to a second level, not just having a walking stick and doing it. Right, right, you right. must use the technology at that time, you know, mm. to train your people to use the computer, to even go and help them, teach them how to go and buy the right equipment by using your computer. Mm. So you, you see wheelchairs, so many different wheelchairs, yeah, what yeah. kind of wheelchairs, yeah. so, many, so many aids. What? So it's, it's good to right. push them. Oh, so that is the price they must pay. If you take my center, this is the what I want. Oh, no, you are quite visionary, huh? I mean, you. No, no, I think it's. I don't know. You're yeah. willing to push the boundaries yeah. a bit, lah. So yeah. the disabled people were so happy. They were all enjoying themselves right, because right. they have. They, they feel very. They 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 don't have to to feel like they have to be pushed all the time. Correct. Correct. And that correct. was very good. I mean, it boosted their self-esteem and everything, yeah. right? Okay, let's look at the next picture that you have here. Oh, this is oh wow, this is we. Yeah, this uh, this we, when I had Nathan. I had the honor to to have the pleasure of meeting uh, S R Nathan, our president, mm. Ong Ting Chong, Ting Chong. and uh, in fact in that picture, you have Ko Chok Tong, well, Tony Tan yeah. as well. Yeah, we all had very good yeah. relationship then, mm. and I'm a bit of an uh, extrovert, so I like that to get involved. Also in the community events. So 26 yeah. years, right? You were at, uh, yeah, at Raja. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's look at the next picture here. Wow, this is... Well, uh, this are the meeting like Teng Xiaoping. Yeah, or meeting wow. Teng Xiaoping was a great honour mm. because I was part of a delegation of three three of us, Ko Chok Tong, Yo Chiao Tong and myself. Oh. And actually we were on this official trip to China. And uh, it was a real shocker to all of us when suddenly we got a, a message from the, our foreign ministry oh, officials oh, okay, okay. that Teng Shopping wanted to meet us. Wow. wow! We were all taken aback because wow. he is 
the Premier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chok Tong is only one, not even a full Prime Minister. Oh, Deputy Prime yeah, Minister yeah, yeah. at that time. Uh. But he insisted want to see us. So three of us had the honour, actually had the honour right. to really meet Teng Xiaoping. So at that time, it was Yeo Chow Tong already a minister as well? Yeah, minister. So you were the only MP? I, but I was the only MP, but, I, but fortunately, or fortunately, I was a member of the Central Executive Committee of the Oh, of the, you of were the, the only of the party. MP who yeah, was yeah, a CEC yeah. member, right? Oh. So in China, the ranking different. Mm. So they treated me with the a, protocol. Yeah, is the protocol. Right? They treat me as a Politburo member of the PAP. Uh, uh. So I was given a little bit more. Uh, uh. They did that to discuss with me in depth. Uh. Uh. So we did, we talk issues like cross strait, uh -huh. cross strait uh, 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 affair between right. China and mm. Taiwan and Taiwan, all this. Yeah. Uh. So I had the honor of a really being told or having have this meeting with Chok Tong and uh, and uh, and uh, Chow Tong right. and, and in fact don't you, uh, the, I remember he really detailed to us what China is going to become oh. so we were like first hand knowledge you know wow. and that impressed even the officials of people in China that we were given that I think that's because you got to give due respect to our to Lee Kuan Yew mm. Because Lee Kuan Yew paved the way. And uh, so when we went there, Teng Xiaoping was so impressed that he asked us, how many times have you all come home? Come home? Well, that was a loaded question. <laughs> so you must be careful when you're in the political arena, how to answer such, the loaded, of it, uh. such loaded questions. Yeah, yeah. You've got to think carefully. You cannot say, oh, I come back how many times? Come I said, back as in back to China. No. So he said, no, I visited your country oh. <laughs> two, three times. <laughs> two, then three they were not, oh, because actually he treated like, 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 like so different, mm, you know. Mm, mm, mm. He didn't want to smoke. He didn't oh, yeah, he's a chain smoker. Yeah, there was a sputum mark. I don't know whether you all understand what a sputum mark. In the good old days, oh. we all, even in the coffee shops, you got this little yes, yes, tumbler. I'm old enough yeah. to remember that. So they all spit, all of us would spit ah, into, spit the, into the, the mark. Sputum, yeah. But there, he never, he, he, no, he didn't. He said, because your Lee Kuan Yew is really good. Wow. So we were so blessed. We ride on the, on the, on the prestige of Lee Kuan Yew. And we had a very nice understanding oh. of, of what China is going to become. Mm. And I'm, now I'm actually seeing what China is, the, how the change is happening. Correct, correct. Mm. And the next photo is the one with... Oh, Mahathir is, uh, we were in the same medical al alumni. Ah, yeah, he's he many years, yeah, though, he's yeah. many years my senior. Mm. But at the time I was a junior in the, in the, in the uh, medical uh, fraternity. Oh. But I was also an active doctor, young doctor, because I, I was quite involved in the medical uh, politics. Mm -hmm. So that's where we will always, uh, we will always go. Oh, I see, I see. He will come down to Singapore, and uh, we will go up. Right. And the, our alumni, our medical alumni, is very strong. Oh, excellent! Singapore and Malaysia, because all the doctors in Malaysia at that time, all from University of yeah, Singapore. Singapore, right? So right, right. that's why the relationship between ourselves it's, it's good, huh? and the North very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's look at what's the next photo you have for us, doc. Oh, this is. Oh, oh this wow. one, yeah. We well, even have our inspecting a no. This is National Day. Oh wow! You're doing National Day. At, yeah. At so CCO, yeah. Right? So I say well, if it's National Day, well, there was a big National Day at the National Stadium. We oh. should have our own. Oh, okay. We should have our own local national celebration. At your community. So level, what we got? We got all the soldiers who are lo who, who the soldiers all, all 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 must be from the constituency. Oh okay. So we form our own band, our own group <laughs> of uh, march pass and uh, ah. quite cute. And it was quite interesting. The children came and uh, and they they make me uh, inspect, the, inspect the, the guard of the honor. Guard of we never have a guard of honor. So interesting, wow. yeah. But that <laughs> is because you must generate the community to be with you. Yeah, the, the spirit is strong. The spirit. Huh? Then that's how you build a community. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. build a community must involve everybody. Mm. That's right. That's right. Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see what's the next picture. Yeah, yeah. this one is very interesting because this one when the World Cup. You know World Cup? Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, of course. World Cup football. Football, yeah. And uh, so I decided to bring the World Cup to, to the community centre. Oh, you broadcast it yeah. at the CC. So we got a big sponsor for this big TV. And, you, 
30 years ago to have a big TV like that uh, to sponsor is $31,000. Wow. So I don't <laughs> so know how we managed to, to, to get the sponsorship. Oh. And you'll be surprised that CC, uh, oh. we were the only one with uh, showing the World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was so fun, we gave them uh, 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 some of the, the sponsorships were quite good. Uh. Oh. But oh. This is again to bring the, is this a world event? Right. Your community must come and participate in this world event. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you get people to, uh, to see the, your philosophy. Mm. So the sponsors understand what you want to do for the community. Right. So that's why they have, willing they'll be willing to sponsor. Support, yeah, sponsor and support ah. you. Know. Okay, so let's see the picture you have, uh, that's lined up here. And, oh, this was a oh, yeah. picture. Mm. Oh, you are the one. So, in yeah. case uh, your Singaporeans do not realize it, uh, your Sunday free parking, uh, the one who mooted the idea, yeah, yeah, yeah. seated just across me. That's not, <laughs> <laughs> not the time. No, uh. actually, I was a bit disturbed when I, when the, every on Sundays when I visit my mother, mm. you know, and I see everybody rushing to go and tear the coupon, to tear the coupon go down. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. How to create community like that yeah. when that is the only free day? And mm. then you restrict the, 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 the stay with the parents. Yeah. So I went to the house, to, to, when I went to the house, I went to parliament. parliament yeah. And I told the minister, hey, how about giving free, free parking? parking on Sunday. <laughs> only on Sundays and public holidays only I want. Uh -huh. uh, then he said, cannot, uh, they, they crowd the whole, people will abuse it, I don't know what other uh -huh. reasons. I said, all these are just giving reasons. Re I said, <laughs> my reason is very simple. This is simply for social interaction. Mm. For community to come together, yeah. that limited time of one, two, of a Sunday and public holiday, Correct. maximize it. Let them come and see their parents and meet their friends. Don't make it stressful, right? And don't so stressful. <laughs> yeah. So just yes, that's, that's, that's someone, yeah. <laughs> so they and I tell you, at first they were so reluctant. They say, okay, dog, you think you're so smart? Why do you try in Ayraja? I try Ayraja. Yeah. Ayraja. So, so oh, yeah, trick success, is a uh. challenge, but it was a success. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rest is history. And and the rest today, is. We still so I gave to everybody. So I think, I think this one don't let them take away. Even mm -hmm. if they have all these parking fees, mm -hmm. on that day don't charge. Never yeah, mind. One, 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 one we must to Sunday create Sunday. community spirit. These are the little things, things you uh, give to the people, yeah. and the people will understand. Appreciate uh, they it, will right? appreciate it and then people want to mix more. I believe there was another thing that you, you also proposed and became accepted was to use their CPF funds. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a, yeah. I think that one also pay very. For the university fees, right? Yeah. And after when they start working, they have to top yeah, back correct, and make correct. their parents' account. Yeah, yeah, because at that time, the, the, when the CPF, for me, when a policy, the policy of the CPF was actually. For old age, mm, retirement funding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the moment you put other other things into this policy, mm. it can be very very disturbing. Mm. And of course, uh, what to do when they started to allow investment in shares, stock mm. markets, and share? I don't, I don't, I say no. I wouldn't want to agree to that. I say let's. What 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 do our children need? Education. Right. So we must give them the education. And why if they cannot afford it, we must help. Mm. And if we cannot help, maybe we just pay to do some other schemes. Yeah. So when I proposed this idea, it was at first rejected. But finally, to be fair, to be good, the civil servants also helped me mm. to craft out a scheme. Mm. So you got to give credit to them. They thought out how to, how to ensure that people can use their parents' CPF, mm. like a loan scheme. Right. And then they pay it back yeah. when they yeah. have their jobs. They start working. When they start yeah. working. Yeah. So this is a loan scheme. So actually, it was quite well uh, crafted out by those, by all mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. we, we took terms. We really thought very hard. Right. And it was uh, accepted. So it was quite good. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and the most interesting thing was, one day when I was in uh, Gelang Serai. Gelang Serai Market. Oh, okay. uh, the, the food. The food. Yeah. So we were eating there. Then this lady came to see, talk to me and brought two gentlemen along with her and said, Doc, you may not know, but my two sons here would not have gone to the university, is it? If not because if of... If not, you, if you, I didn't suggest the use of CPF, yeah. for me, yeah. that is a kind of reward. Yeah. You see that at least there are people who benefited. Correct. correct. So that was good. Uh, to, to, That's to, a good yeah, thing. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You see, on, it's on my Facebook. I put it in my oh, Facebook. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. 
Any other stories from that you have contributed? I'm sure there's many, many more. Mm. But let's move on to this one. Oh, what is this about? You see, I always appreciate people who come and do community service. Mm. And there are many people who come for many reasons. Mm -hmm. Some want to gain recognition, hidden reasons, a hidden yeah, agenda. Right, right. But there are many people like this chap called Big Ang Mo. He mm. is only a hawker. Okay. He sells vegetables at this Pasi Panjang oh, wholesale, wholesale market. market. Okay. One day when I was an MP, he came and offered to help me. Mm. I was so touched by his generosity in the sense that he will just offer his service. He said, I got no education. I cannot make contribution to you. Mm. I said, to me, that's not important. Yeah. But I can offer you my, 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 my work. Yeah. So he was helping around. He, he, he will come and, uh, you know, your chairs and tables uh -huh. all got to move. He'll be around. Oh. And then things need to be, to, when we need to use his little truck, uh -huh. His pickup truck, uh -huh. he, he will he do help, that. Uh, okay. So he can't pick me up so in my home for oh, my meet the people truck. session. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes I jump into his, his truck. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a bit old, old truck. Uh -huh. But anyway, it works. Mm. Then he'll be working so hard. Then one day he fell sick. Oh. So when I went to see him in the hospital, happened when you saw him at the hospital? Excuse story. Okay, never mind. Take your time. Yeah, she must die. She died? Was he very when I see or? him in the hospital, he was actually dying. Dying, is it? Oh, dying. Wow. But he insisted he wanted to go and help me. Even, even when he was in that state. Wow. So I was so touched. And when he died, I cried. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, Doc. No worries. Because here was one man. Mm. Can I have a what, what did he do that was so memorable? Can I have, uh... yeah. Yeah. He, you see, here is a man, uh, not educated, mm. serve all the time, mm. never, uh, never asked for rewards. Mm. Difficult to give him a PBM. <laughs> Because there's always this condition of how much money he has contributed to the community. Oh, okay. But he didn't. And on his deathbed, he was asking me whether certain things he was doing completed or not. Oh. On his deathbed, you know. So I was really touched by the fact that here is, here is this man who is so concerned. Mm. And... Uh, Never talk about money. Even at his deathbed, he was still asking you. You want to help want again? To <laughs> you want to again. help? Wow, that is really. A so when he died, I said, must pay tribute. Mm. So when I did, when I built a little theatre in Ayraja. I said, I want to name this theatre under him. Wow, so this is the story of, yeah. that's why it's called mm -hmm. a tribute to the late Mr. Peck. So I, I, so I suggested that I want to name this theatre called the Peck Angmo Theatre. Wow. And I want, to, I want Singaporeans to understand. Mm. These unsung heroes. These are, are the unsung heroes. Yeah. They have no choice of getting your PBM because your PBM always got a monetary thing attached to it, oh. which made me so sad. And here's a man, I got no money, can I help you? Sure, he's so happy to receive him. Right, right. So when he, he and on his deathbed, he's going to help me still, you know. Goodness. 
Oh, so Amazing. yeah, so I wrote. It took me a few days to write that poem. Oh, and I wanted them to translate that poem into Chinese for his benefit, lah. Yeah. So and I want this to be pasted on the wall. Yeah. You see. Right. Let me read these few lines to you. Sure. I said this a tribute to the late Mr. Pei Ang Mo, a community leader of distinction. Pei Ang Mo was a simple, quiet, and mild mannered man. He could not afford to go to school. He sold vegetables in the market. He served as a CCC member for more than 20 years. He never asked for favors nor rewards. He was reliable and dependable. He was always there when we needed. I said, this theatre is dedicated to him and to men and women like him who have served our community with pride and distinction. As a message, to future community leaders, so that when we serve the country, we serve it with our with our heart. With our heart, with our heart. Uh, so there's no, don't expect re people to reward you also. Right, right, right. Uh, so this is this is my parting the, the tribute to this man, oh, okay. and I'm this always very emotional when I talk about him. Okay, okay. So this was at the old CC, right? Is yes, the old. Is CC still at the same place? Or have they I heard, the no, no, the new, the new Ayurajah CC was also, uh, 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 what do you call it, the same site. Same site, same oh, they tore down and yeah. rebuilt the new one. Uh. Yeah. So oh, actually, yeah. I asked them for this plug. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm very concerned. Yeah. And I was told that they can't find it after they revealed the CC. Oh my gosh. So that means the memory of this Ms. Mr. It's Pick gone. That's why I am thank God that I, I took a photograph. Oh my goodness. If I didn't take this photograph, then it'd be all gone. Wow. So you see, that's why I think of institutional memory uh, yeah. is so important for us, you know. But we tend to wipe it off when there's when yeah, they people see cannot remember just yeah. I forget it like yeah. so I, I don't know, like this is my little contribution and I was hoping that like all this should be preserved, huh? So when people, if I'm a CCC member, I know I'm recognized. Right, right. That I, I come, I've served my CC, and that people do recognize. Mm. PA should recognize. Yeah. You see, so this is the this is my little contribution, well, and I uh, hope that the people who come and serve our country will serve it with pride and dignity. So like someone like that, he never expected to be recognized, yeah. but you give him the yeah. due recognition, yeah. uh, right? Mm. Uh, in, in Singapore, you know, it's like uh, like some people who have been quite generous, they donated something and have the hospital name after them. I think you had some <laughs> issue with that as well, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think that was also another issue, the naming of the hospital. Uh. You see, when we name hospital, the level of recognition uh. that you give to a person uh. should be should be should be to the level of the amount they have contributed. Mm. For example, when the hospital costs about say about a billion dollars mm. and this man give you a hundred million and the whole hospital name is changed after this person after, name after, uh, this, name person. after this person. To me it's not fair. The public funds that I'm getting is about a million dollar, a billion dollar. Mm. Say, let's call it a billion dollar. So it's the public. And if you take, I give you 10% and the whole thing, name after, name you, after yeah. you, I think it is wrong in principle. Setting the wrong precedent. It's wrong, it's very wrong. Right. So uh, that's why I left, I resigned from the board because I thought that it is not fair. Wow. I would have thought that they should have named this under people like Ong Ting Chong. This is a public building, mm, mm. okay? Or people like Go King Sui. Mm, yeah, maybe, yeah. We cannot name after any other people who have made no little contribution. Yeah. Just because you give me money, I got to give you recognition. Yeah. So again, our society must move away from this concept that money is so important. Money talks. Uh, huh? So I think that is, that's what I hope Singapore will, will change. Will to, evolve. Huh? Will Evolving evolve. Time, yeah. huh? Okay, now let's move to the next picture. Oh, there's a picture of you in your younger <laughs> days. Yeah, what this. Were you? What were you holding? Uh, holding a cockatoo. Yeah. No, you kept that as a pet? Yeah, I love animals and I love birds. And uh, this is one of those birds that was given to me because the owner could not take care of this, oh, this, okay. this, this cockatoo. When I was not around, mm -hmm. this cockatoo was in the hands of my son. 
Okay, and what happened? <laughs> then he noticed there in the garden, suddenly there were a flock of white birds coming to the garden. Oh. And they were similar to this bird. Also, oh, were they attracted by... So this? I think they were, the, that flock of birds mm. must have seen this bird. Oh, okay. So you know what my son did? Uh -huh. He took a plier, cut off the chain and set this bird free. free. <laughs> so he flew off with the... Uh, little, little <laughs> did he realise this bird was, was asked by my friend to look after. He wanted it back. <laughs> I said, so I told my son, I think you did the right thing. <laughs> Yeah, birds if they are free, cage, let them yeah, set yeah, let them, them free. free. Okay, so okay. now I, I have birds in my house, but they're all free. They're all flying the garden. Oh, oh, we oh. don't cage them anymore. Okay, huh? okay. okay so Excellent. this is a little story. So let's, let's look at another picture coming up. Oh, oh, this one. Yeah, this, this, this one has a little story, I must tell you. This one I was sitting by, in by my garden, and then, then suddenly a bird fell from the sky. Can you imagine? Really? Huh? <laughs> I see this bird falling down, uh -huh. and I have, a big, I have a big Doberman dog. Oh. Tried to bite yeah, so the but he's very well trained. Uh. So when he saw the bird falling, he uh. went for it. Oh. So I I, I shouted at shouted him. I said, no, don't, no. Uh. He never. Oh. I said, don't do this stuff. Then I went to pick up the bird. Yeah. And notice the poor bird cannot fly because somebody must have shot, oh. used a catapult, catapult uh. and shot the legs and oh, and, uh, so and, injured, and uh, uh. it was an injured bird, it was just hovering mm. around and then it fell. So I, re I treated this bird in a, in a unique way. It's just like what they say, God sent. <laughs> because the night before this happened, uh. I was watching a television series mm. on how to treat injured birds. <laughs> wow, so, 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 <laughs> so, so lucky, I said yeah, this yeah, bird. Yeah. So that's how I quickly remember what I, was, what I saw watching, on television. Yeah, uh, uh. Then I position the bird properly, hang it up, mm. and with my medical skill in surgery, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mend his legs. I actually had to do the make it make sure it's anatomic, anatomically correct, correct yeah. or else it cannot stand. <laughs> really. Cannot stand, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did was I patched the, dog, the bird up oh. and I kept it slowly, kept it the next until the next day. No, you, no, I knew if I were to look after the bird, the bird would die. Oh. Because this one needs special care. I so see. I brought it to our bird park and oh. called over the veterinary. You better look after this bird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then he looked at this bird and said, Wow, dog, this is a surgical skill. Is it? <laughs> they will not even be able to, to repair the yeah. bird like that. Because I used my finest surgical instrument. Uh, uh. I really patched him up, you know. Oh, and wow. I, 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 I had to make it, it, the alignment has got to be correct. correct you know? uh. oh. So it, was a, it took me hours, you know. To really put him properly. So you you are not only treating humans, you yeah. treat animals as but well. But anyway, huh? the surgeon and I we became good friends, and he said he, he every time I call him, said your bird is only hopping around, oh, okay, would okay. never be able, be able to fly. To be, be, yeah, so okay. quite good, put in the bird bird uh, yeah. century <laughs> there, and they will take good care. Okay, I don't know what happened. What's your here. next picture you have here? Huh? Wow, that's wow. you on. Uh, wow, hmm. is that uh, are you on, on this, the aircraft carrier? Yeah. Or when the Kitty Hawk, this is an American aircraft, yeah, aircraft carrier, carrier, came uh. to Singapore, they wanted to bring some MPs along oh. just to have a look. Wow, so to, you've to been see. on. Wow, quite interesting. Huh? Okay, so, let's see what's the next yeah. picture you might have. Mm. Huh? Coming up here. Oh, there's you. Ah, that's me. I was canoeing. I, I went to, that time was about maybe 10 years younger. Oh, okay. and, uh, and I wanted to test the waters in the Ko Samui. Oh, Koh Samui, Koh Samui, this is Samui, in Thailand. Yeah. Okay, all right, lovely. Let's and there were, there, 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 that was quite, 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 quite interesting because oh. we had to go into the caves. And what know. is this picture? This picture is my oh, big family. this picture is your big family, mm. right, Doc? Yeah. Uh, your, your wife and your children, children. and grandchildren. Yeah, are. that's all a whole family. Three generations, ah? Yeah. Uh? Yep. Okay, lovely, lovely, yeah. lovely. You know, so that's a lovely photo there, and we are almost coming to the end. Uh. So, Doc, you know, many people actually uh, have wondered, you know, they say, why at your age, uh, you should so akong, leo, relax, leo, then why did you yeah. go to all this trouble of starting a new political party and all these sort of things? Or maybe you want to share mm. with uh, our yeah, viewers yeah. Uh, why you did what you did and what is your hope, dream and aspiration for Singapore as yeah. a country? I, I think, you see, you all must understand I was, I was from the old PAP. So I was there. Mm. I saw how how the first generation leaders perform. I saw the dedication. Mm. 
Mm. I saw their beliefs and I saw what they had in mind to do for Singapore. Right. And that captured my attention. All the time I follow how Lee Kuan Yew managed things. He's a very harsh man. He's a very strict man. But on top of all this, uppermost in his mind, Singapore come first. Mm. So he dedicated, he keep on telling us, you must do this. Because I was, I was uh, a doctor, as I said, in the Ulus. Mm. Yeah, okay. And uh, when Chok Tong also came to persuade me, so he brought me to, to him. Mm. So he told me, you must come forward to so help like him to bring Singapore to the another level. Mm. So it's an honour for him to come and to, to get me to be on board of his new team. Mm. So that's where I joined him. So I helped him also, some of the difficult policies. But we know all, in the, all these so-called difficult policies were all crafted out for the purpose of getting Singapore into the next level of growth. Mm. Because his first generation of leaders, he felt they have, he has to change. Because when you have a new civil service up, the MPs must be able to match the civil servants. Mm. So he felt that because the civil servants are all becoming so well educated, mm. he has to change also his, his whole team. So I became part of the team. Mm -hmm. So that there is synergy, there's understanding. So when, poli when B politicians make policies, the civil servants must carry out those policies. Mm. See, so there's no mixing. Correct. There must be a very strict uh, uh, divide. As a politician, I, this is my policy. As a civil servant, you carry out my policy. Mm. You see, so you cannot come in, come into my territory and say, I mm. cannot, I would do. So that sort of thing so works very well. Clear distinction. Clear yeah. distinction. Right. So all these are very important. Then he's very fussy about this transparency. You must be transparent what you want to do. Mm. You must be accountable for what you want to do. You see, so these are, are these are down yeah, by yeah, yeah, yeah. All these are value systems, right. because because all these things will create trust mm. between the people and you as a leader. He said. Right. So if you don't have that trust, people will be always suspicious of what you want to do. So your mind is never that clear. Mm. When I saw the changes happening after I step down as an MP and I see some of the things that is being managed, I said, no, you have to change. This, the accountability is an important question. The transparency and all this uh, have to be brought back into our system. Because ultimately, I think Singaporeans want is a good political system based on these three values to create the trust for Singaporeans to accept you as the future leaders to take Singapore into the next level of growth. Since I have the experience and I've got the knowledge, I must come and help to set the stage for new for Singaporeans with a sort of understanding and feeling for the country to step forward and help to make this place a much, much better place than for ourselves, for all Singaporeans, for, all Singaporeans, for our children, for our yeah, grandchildren. Yeah. Correct, correct. So with that, I thought it's, uh, I cannot abandon it. And I think it's an honour enough, I feel that I, I, at this my age, I'm still able to, to be able to get people to come and join me. And I hope they, I will help them to make sure that they stick to all this very fundamental, basic understanding of what forms a good political system and what forms a, and a good people to get sure, make sure that this political system is run properly. Right, so right. that's why I'm back. Okay, right, folks. Thank you very much for joining us to all the viewers out there. And we also like to thank uh, Dr. Tan Cheng Bok, who is the Secretary General of the Progress Singapore Party, PSP for short. And don't worry, Doc. It may have been a bit longer than usual, but I'm sure everyone out there love listening to your stories, okay? Thank you. So I salute you for what you're you are doing. And we hope to see you again the next time we have another chat with another member of PSP. In the meantime, take care and goodbye. Bye.